Welcome to your ultimate pit stop, Piston Pundit. Today, we're diving into the electrifying world of General Motors, GM, and their bold leap into the future of electric vehicles. However, this decision was met with resistance from dealers who foresaw challenges. Despite GM's hefty investment in new technologies, it seems the payoff is not imminent. The market's lukewarm response to electric cars has left dealers preferring to quit rather than sell EVs. The GM CEO is taken aback by this turn of events. Stay tuned as we uncover the reasons behind this surprising trend. Reason number six, GM's high voltage investments. A significant reason why GM dealers are resisting the sale of EVs is the substantial financial investment required to qualify for selling these new age vehicles. We're not talking about a few thousand dollars, but rather a whopping hundreds of thousands. For instance, Buick dealers were asked to invest $400,000 in a new program that included elements like charging infrastructure, staff training, and education. This, coupled with a slowing EV market, naturally led to significant resistance from dealers, especially Buick dealers, given that Buick is one of the less popular GM brands and currently doesn't even have EVs in its lineup. Despite this, Buick has the ambition to transform into an all-electric brand by the end of the decade. GM, on its part, remained steadfast in its new strategy, offering dealers a choice, invest or opt for a buyout. The result? Nearly half of Buick dealers chose the buyout. From nearly 2,000 dealers at the start of 2023, the count has halved. As for other GM brands, the company hasn't yet issued such an ultimatum. Given this experience, we anticipate a more cautious approach from GM's management, especially when it comes to the future of flagship brands like Chevy and Cadillac. Reason number five, salespeople are running on empty. Selling EVs is currently about as appealing as a flat tire to dealers. Demand is low, sales are sluggish, and markups are minimal. But one group is feeling the pinch more than others, the salespeople. They're tasked with the uphill battle of persuading their regular customers to switch to EVs. They have to introduce potential buyers to new technology and convince them that EVs are not just better than gas guzzlers, but also worth the extra bucks. With the current market dynamics, that's easier said than done. Recent studies suggest that selling an EV requires four times the effort compared to a conventional car. That's four times the time and energy for the same commission. It's akin to accepting a 75% pay cut. So, if you're still puzzled why dealers would rather close shop than sell EVs, well, there's your answer. Reason number four, dealers are reviving for hybrids. For a while, GM's top brass, including Mary Barra, seemed disinterested in hybrids, focusing solely on rapid electrification. GM's aggressive push towards EVs involved substantial investments that, given the current scenario, aren't showing quick returns. Meanwhile, automakers like Toyota are thriving with hybrids, which are outpacing EVs in growth. Dealers, recognizing this trend, are urging GM to produce hybrids for steady sales. They've signaled GM to revisit hybrid technology as the EV push isn't progressing as anticipated. Eventually, GM conceded that their all-out EV strategy was a misstep. Sales are trailing expectations, and profitability remains elusive. Consequently, GM has slowed down, postponing the production of key models like the all-electric Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra to late 2025. The new electric drive unit's production won't start until year-end. Meanwhile, GM is strategizing to catch up in hybrid technology. The company had a few gas electric models previously, but that's history now. GM needs a fresh start with hybrids, but the roadmap remains unclear amidst intense competition. Before we delve deeper, do us a favor and smash that like and subscribe button. This helps us reach more auto enthusiasts just like you. Now let's shift gears and steer towards our next point. Reason number three, the drying up of service revenue. Dealers love a good cash flow, and they've been raking it in. Their business isn't just about selling cars. Sure, markups are typically high and profit margins are healthy, but a significant chunk of their revenue comes from service and repair. Fluid changes, filter replacements, new brake pads, 
These have been a steady income stream for dealers with internal combustion cars. But with EVs, the landscape changes. With EVs, the maintenance playbook is rewritten. In fact, it's almost non-existent. Instead of internal combustion engines that need a variety of fluids for cooling and lubrication, EVs sport electric motors and batteries, which don't demand such service. Plus, EVs come with regenerative braking systems, which means less wear on brake pads. All these factors that were once a gold mine for dealers are now drying up. Reason number two, the repair conundrum. In theory, EVs are the low maintenance cousins of internal combustion cars. However, Automakers are demanding hefty investments from dealers for infrastructural upgrades and staff training. From a dealer's perspective, this equation of high investment for lower profit margins doesn't quite add up. Some argue that EVs, while not perfect, still require regular repairs. Recent surveys suggest they're less reliable than their gas-powered counterparts, implying potential for earnings. But these repairs are no longer a walk in the park. They're causing dealers and their mechanics to scratch their heads as they grapple with the new technology and its unique set of problems. Take the new Chevy Blazer EV, for instance. This all-electric crossover has been a headache, with most issues being software-related. Dealers were left in a lurch, not knowing how to address these issues. Even the company was at a loss, leading to broken EVs languishing at dealer lots, awaiting feedback from the factory. In short, dealers are often left clueless about handling broken EVs while also having to manage disgruntled customers. Reason number one, the demand dilemma. Dealers, the heartbeat of the car market, are well aware that swift electrification is a far-off reality. They're hesitant to join this race, imposed by the government and automakers, including GM. With the current market trends, they're not keen on selling new, high-priced EVs based on Ultium battery technology. After a period of remarkable growth and scarce supply, the tide has turned. Early adopters have moved on, and we're now in a challenging phase. It's time for the middle class to embrace EVs, but the reception has been lukewarm. Market growth is at a low, while supply is abundant, thanks to resolved supply chain issues. This supply-demand imbalance has led to an oversupply. Dealers are bearing the brunt as EVs pile up at their lots. The average market day supply exceeds 100, and GM models are no exception. New models based on Ultium battery technology are far from hitting satisfactory sales numbers. With Biden's administration's recent decision to slow down electrification, dealers have chosen to stick with familiar gas-powered cars. In these uncertain times, the future of EVs remains unclear. Thank you for joining us on this ride. Don't forget to subscribe to Piston Pundit. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos and keep your engines reviving. See you next time.